Hi there, Deborah Moorhead here, and welcome to your relationship tips. I'm so excited that you're here. Today, we're going to talk about the issue of trust. I've had several people that have asked the question about how do I trust again after there's been a betrayal of infidelity, of lies, of you know, whatever it may be, how do I trust again? And that's what we're going to talk about. I want to start with a quote from Nicholas Sparks. And the quote says, Love hurts. There is nothing more painful than heartbreak. But in order to learn to love again, you must learn to trust again. The issue of trust. There's several things I want to just start off with. And the very, very first piece is I want you to know that there was nothing wrong with you. You were normal to trust whoever it was that you trusted. The person that betrayed that trust, that's the person that did something wrong. You didn't do anything wrong. The issue that comes out of that betrayal, that breaking of the trust, is that now you're afraid of the hurt and the pain, and so you move into a place of mistrust. That's normal, too. We all have done it. What you want to realize, though, is that once you've moved into a place of mistrust, the only person you're really hurting is yourself. You are holding back, you're isolating yourself or disconnecting from the other person or other people around you. And ultimately, you are keeping yourself from ever having that real deep relationship that you are desiring. So there are three tips that I'm going to go over today that will help you to be able to move yourself towards trusting again. The first tip is about trusting yourself again. When something like a betrayal or a lie or infidelity or something has happened like that, there's a part of us that kind of becomes insecure and we question ourselves. So I want you to get back to the place of really loving and accepting yourself as that wonderful, imperfect person that you are, because that's true for all of us. So get back to that part of you. The other part about really being able to trust yourself again is get connected back to your intuition. What happens often after people have had a betrayal, the research has been done, people say that they actually did sense that there was something wrong, but they chose to ignore it. So they lost, they ignored their intuition, their voice of intuition. So I want you to get connected to your voice of intuition. Everybody has it. Get connected to it so that you can listen and hear when that part of you is saying, there's something off here. Pay attention to that. That's the second piece in being able to trust yourself again. And then the third piece is trust and remember that uh, you have what you need to be able to handle anything, to be able to make it through whatever comes your way. Trust that you have that again. You will be okay. All right, the second tip to moving towards trusting again is to remember that life is made up of ups and downs, joys and pains, surprises, and disappointments. That's what makes life amazing, is that we have all of that in our lives. There's a couple things then in remembering this that you need to do. The first is don't stay in a place that says, I'm not supposed to have the downs or the pains or the disappointments. Because what that does is that sets you up to be stuck and it almost sets you up in a place where you can be in a victim place because these things happen to you. Instead, stay in that this is part of life. 
And then the other part to that is when it's in a relationship where the disappointment or hurt or betrayal even has happened, focus on what's really the most important part, which is how, when it's possible, how do the two of you move through the hurt and disappointment in a way that repairs, fully repairs the relationship, really about the growth that the two of you are able to do together in moving through it. All right, and the third tip to moving towards trust again is that you need to make a conscious choice to move back into trust. Moving to the mistrust place out of your fear is what happened unconsciously. Now, You've got to make a conscious choice to move into it. You've got to be willing, and it's scary, I know, to take a risk, to take a chance. You know, the truth is, as human beings, we actually naturally are made to just trust. You know, we trust when I flip the switch, you know, that the light's going to come on. We trust when I turn my ignition on my car that the car's going to start. We, we naturally trust, and we naturally trust in relationships as well. To be able to consciously move, it's, it's really a, just a decision to move. What you also need to do is pay attention that you're not holding on to the past pain, the fears, the memory of what happened. And then you don't want to hold on to the fear of, oh my gosh, that pain is going to happen in the future. Those are the two things that keep you stuck in the mistrust place. Then get back to Trusting yourself, the first tip we talked about, looking for the good intentions in the relationship, the trustworthiness of the person, and trust your intuition that as you observe and as you work with that person, you are going to be able to know, is this a trustworthy person to continue forward with or not? I hope that this was helpful for you in learning about how to step back towards trust in your life because that's what's going to get you what you really want in relationships, in a loving, deep relationship. If you like this, push the like button below and if there's somebody else that might benefit from this, share this. Thank you for joining me and I will see you next time.